Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com here. Today we're going to show you how to create a continuous wallpaper for your Nokia N900. Uh, so if you're not over there, go to TheUnlocker.com, spell like it is there in the URL, and then search for the how to create a continuous wallpaper on the Nokia N900 video. Okay, so step one is to find an image. Uh, so we're going to use Google Images. If you just go to Google.com and you click on the top images here, you'll get the Google Images search. And we're going to type in something like panoramic wallpaper. Okay? And we should be given a bunch of stuff. Now, to get the best looking picture, you want something that's bigger than the resolution of all four of your screens combined on the phone. So that would be 3200 by 480. So, what we do is we open the options here on the left hand side. We go larger than 8 megapixels. And that'll give us C3264 by whatever. So as so long as it's bigger than that, uh, it should work just fine. So we're going to click that. So we're now presented with a bunch of them. Let's do this one. Why not? Okay. So we'll click on that. And we're going to right-click it, save it to our computer. Call it New York. And night. And enter. Okay, once that's saved, we need to resize it. So we're going to go to Picnic, which is P-I-C-N-I-K.com. Click on Get Started, and then it'll bring you to this page. Okay, and then once you're on this page, you're going to click Upload a Photo. We're going to find our image. And then we're going to hit Crop. Now keep in mind, um, you can also hit Resize and make it 3200 by 480, which is the size of our four wallpapers combined on the desktop of the phone. Um, or you can crop it and do the 3200 by 480. Um, with an image that's square like this, if I resize it, it's going to look really squished. Um, so I'm actually going to crop this one and just take a small section out of the back and do it that way. But if you find an image that's more of a rectangle than this one, it'll be a little bit better and you won't get as much of a squish effect when you hit resize. Either way, though, we need a 3200 by 480 image when we're done here. So I'm going to do crop, type in 3200. Okay, didn't want to let me do it that way. And it doesn't have to be exact. So that's close enough. So I'm just going to grab that image right there. Sounds good. Click OK. There we go. And then we're going to just click Save. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to do... I'll leave the same name. It's fine. Uh, make it a JPEG is usually the best choice for compression. Wait for the process. Okay, and then once it's done processing, you can click Save Photo. New York Night. And uh, JPEG, if it's not already there. And yeah, we'll replace the original, no problem. Close photo. Okay, we're going to take our N900 and plug it in the USB cable. Okay, once we have the memory card for the N900 open on the computer, after we plugged it in and hit mass storage mode, we're going to take our photo that we just created and drag it over to the SD card and copy it. Okay, then on the phone we're going to download the wallpaper creator program that uh, one of the developers at mimo.org made for us. Um, if you haven't already done so, at this point you need to go do the how to get more apps on your N900 procedure that we have on the site. You can either search for it at the top right of the site or click on the uh, choose a category drop down and then click on the N900 under mimo how to's. And once you've done that then you can come back to this and uh, you should have all the repositories necessary for us to find that app. So, we're going to go to the application manager, go to download, and we're going to search for wallpaper creator, like that. Click on that and install it, and then once it's installed, we can go to the next step. Okay, so once we've installed the app, uh, we need to move the file from our memory card to our actual internal storage because the app that he created is still in testing mode um, and it can't actually access the memory card. So it's one little step that we got to do. So we'll go to more 
file manager, go to memory card, to where we saved that image. There it is right there. Gonna hold down on it, select copy, and we want to copy it to N900, and I'm just gonna put it in the images folder because that kind of makes sense. Okay, now let's copy, we can close that, and now we can go to the next step. Okay, next step, to open the app finally. So we're gonna scroll down, WP Creator. Okay, once that opens, you're gonna hit select. And we're gonna choose the file that we just put into the images folder. New York Knight is the one we just did. Okay, and then let it load it into the app. There it is right there. Simply hit crop image, turn it into four separate images, then click install. Now I need to select the name for it. Let's call it. And it's now gonna create an image set for us and put it in the right folder. So let it do that. Okay, once it's done that, it'll say it's available as an image set. Hit OK, we can close this out. Now to set the background, tap the back, tap the little cog, change background, and we're going to look for our image set called New York Night, and tap that, and hit done. Hit done up here, and there's our new background.